Prevent Windows 10 installer from using the pre-installed serial key without disabling UEFI. My laptop, a Lenovo Flux 215, came pre-installed with Windows 8 standard, with the serial key pre-installed into the BIOS, and I've since installed an SSD, a Samsung Evo 841 20GB, an AMP, upgraded to Windows 10. When the laptop still had its hard drive, I upgraded it to professional so I could use the resources provided by the domain on my home server. Because of this, I can only use the professional editions of Windows, home can't join domains. I bought Windows 10 Professional and AMP, completed a fresh install, complete reinstallation, of Windows, only that it installed Windows 10 Home instead of Professional. I'm guessing this is due to the Windows 8 Standard Edition serial key pre-installed in the BIOS. I then downloaded an all-in-one ISO image of Windows 10 from MSDN, of which I have limited access to, transferred the installer onto a USB stick, an amp, reinstalled, a clean install again. However it's still installing Windows 10 Home. If I try to install using the AO image from within Windows, the installer does not present me with a list of options for the edition I want to install, instead, it assumes that I want to install Home Edition. I am able to get Windows 10 Professional to install if I disable UAV and AMP, use Legacy instead, but I feel that this is stepping around the issue rather than resolving it. Is it possible to have the Windows 10 installer ignore any serial keys pre-installed in the BIOS slash UAV? If so, how? If not, is using Legacy mode really the only way around this? I can confirm the A.CFE method is still working as of today, December 7, 2020, with both the Media Creation Tool, MCT, and ISO Media. Both ISO and MCT are now multi-edition and you can't download an edition-specific installer. This creates a problem due to the installer assuming the ACPI slash BIOS embedded license slash edition is the one that should be installed, instead of giving the user a choice. Microsoft support actually recommended in this case that I disable UEFI slash GPT and go back to legacy BIOS slash MBR. That will work, prevents installer from seeing the OEM license in ACPI, but it is a hack working around a broken installer. The installer shouldn't assume. If the addition is not configured in the image, the installer should present the user with an addition selection. For nice experience, perhaps highlight which of the available editions are covered under their detected digital license. Heck, even if their detected digital license did not cover any of the editions, that could still be stated. This would be nice. We detected an OEM license for underscore. This allows you to install underscore or underscore or underscore. Unfortunately this install media does not include any of those additions. If you proceed to install one of the following additions, you will need to provide a new license key before you can activate Windows. What would you like to install? Underscore, 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 or quit. Current experience sucks for non-technical users trying to do a simple clean install. Fortunately with A.CFG, it isn't that bad, once you figure out that is what you need to do. How many frustrating clean install cycles getting the wrong OS and hours of googling before you figure out what is going wrong? Inspect the additions in your installer. If you have created a bootable USB using MCT, or other method, you can inspect what is included in the image like so.
Depending on your image, you may need to replace install.s with install.vim. So you can see that the USB installer contains a bunch of different additions, including the missing slash hidden end versions. To inspect a specific edition, you can provide further options. This gives us the addition aid we need for the a.cfg file, for example professional in this example. Create a.cfg. I wanted Win 10 Pro and addition, so I created an a.cfg in notepad with the following contents. I have an extra new line at the end, after the zero, but don't know if it matters. Of course if you want a different edition you can confirm the exact edition it from your install media using the commands I illustrated above. Note when you go to save this. Save it in the sources directory inside your installation media, your bootable USB stick. When saving in notepad, make sure to change from text to all files otherwise notepad will add a dot text and you will end up with a dot cfg dot text which the installer will ignore. Verify you save the file as the right type by looking at the file in Explorer and seeing if the file type column is CFG or text. Downloading ISO from Windows Microsoft helpfully won't let you download the ISO if you are on Windows and won't let you download the MCT-EXE if they think you aren't on Windows. If you are getting redirected from the slash Windows 10 to slash Windows 10 ISO or vice versa, you can just open up your browser developer tools and using the responsive tools, which let you alter your user agent string, pretend your browser is, or isn't, Windows in order to get the ISO or MCT download page. Make a bootable Win 10 USB from ISO. Just in case you have the right edition laying around an ISO form and don't want to mess with the a.cfg solution. If you have a Windows 10 ISO you can also create bootable USB media using the Windows USB slash DVD download tool. Useful if you happen to have an edition specific ISO laying around. Also with Windows 10 you can't just DD an ISO onto a USB stick because the install files are now over the limit for FAT file system. So you have to use a special tool to convert new Windows ISOs for bootable USB. First of all, make sure you have a regular, single architecture, Windows ISO. It seems you already have that covered. Then, try this method. Create a setup USB drive. Create a file named pit.txt in the sources directory with the following contents. Boot from this USB drive. First of all, if you download Windows 10 using Media Creation Tool, it contains three editions, Pro, Home and Education. Windows automatically chooses one according to your serial key in BIOS or already installed Windows OS. You can force it to let you choose what you want to install by creating one file on your installation disk slash USB drive. Create a.cfg file in sources directory on installation disk slash USB drive, open it in any text editor, for example notepad, and paste this. Result
In Ho this solution is better because you are not limited to one serial key and you can have both 32 and 64 bit systems. Nia creation tool allows you to download both as one installer. So you end up with six additions to select. Smile. If you want to support the channel, please consider subscribing.